क्लास नाइन सो डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द चैप्टर नंबर वन रिलीजन इन मॉरल साइंस सो वट इज द मीन ऑफ रिलीजन ईच वन ऑफ द ईच वन ऑफ अस बिलोंग्स टू अ फैमिली विच इज द स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ सोसाइटी इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फादर मदर ब्रदर सिस्टर अंकल आंट्स एंड ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स सो इट इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय द हेड who coordinates the activities of each member the head ensures that he provide security and safety to all so non existence of the head would result in con- confusion that confusion uh, that mice so non existence of the head would result in confusion and mice it is the same with any organization or institution a school runs well because there is a principal without principal it should be fail so a company runs well because there are managers and managing directors the word the, the world run all the world run well because there is someone who is direct directing or controlling to think think of any city with innumerable vehicles what would be the condition if there are no traffic lights no traffic police the result would be uh, the utter confusion fatal accident and untold misery so think of the solar system who manages it so efficiently certainly there must be someone who is directing or controlling it so let us look at our own body the way it is made and the way its function surprises us the circulatory system the respiratory system the digestive system and real wonders who it who is this wonder worker look at the wonders of the world the seasons the green leaves the beautiful flowers and numerous animals big and small and above all all human beings who is their maker and the maintains them what is life what is the purpose of life some people seems to enjoy life while others seems to suffer and struggle some people are wicked cruel and sinful while others are pious virtuous and selfless the wicked seem to enjoy themselves while the virtuous seem to suffer is there is there no one to judge them there must be a power to punish the wicked and the reward in virtues what is death are we born to life for a few years and then to die and to decay it cannot be there must be something after that if not our life will have no purpose so this had this director this had this director this controller this wonder worker this maker of this church we believe is a super human the believe in a super human super human controlling power is release it is natural for us human beings to believe in the super controlling power we express our belief through the worship we believe that this power is so great that is deserve our love obedience and our adoration our love obedience and adoration this belief in god in all of us this was proved by an experiment a child was brought up in a specially created environment he was not given any instruction and keep kept away from everything that could be called religious one morning the observers were surprised to see the young boy worshiping the rising sun he said that he felt it was so beautiful a sight that is deserved to be worshiped this superhuman superhuman controlling power is given the name god it is said that if man does not worship god he will worship anything that he sees for its it 
uh, it is a feeling inborn in him. It is the expression of religion. Religious is the link which connects us to the to the superhuman power of God. It is what gives meaning or to our life. Without religion, birth, life, and death would be meaningless. Religion provides us this with a hope, without which our life and experiences would be frustrating and meaningless. According to Karl Marx, religion is the opium of the people. Is the view correct? Opium is a drug which is used as a sedative. Is religion used as a sedative to make us passive suffer? Certainly not. So religion does not numb our feelings, desire, and senses. Instead, it gives us an insight into life. It feeds us with the hope of by connecting us the us to our Creator. It turns the meaningless, it turns the meaningless into the meaningful. It uncovers the truth about life and explains it, uh, its mysteries. Hence, religion is not to be thought of as opium. Since religions, religion gives significance and value to our existence, it is necessary that we accept it present in our life. Without religion, no one can find fulfillment in life. The question that baffle and us and the mysteries that we fail to understand will all become clear if we accept the existence of religion. So since religion gives us significance and the value of our existence, it is necessary that we accept its presence in our life. Without religion, no one can find fulfillment in life. The questions that baffle us and the mysteries that we fail to understand will all become clear if we accept the existence of religion. In order to live, life man needs air, water, food, shelter and clothes. So in order to live, life man needs air. What he needs? He needs air, water, shelter, food and clothes. Without this thing, anything is not possible. These are his basic needs. These are his basic needs in order to understand the life that he is leading and the purpose and the meaning of that life. He needs to release her. It clearly showed the importance and necessity of reason in the life of man. So in the order to live man needs air, water, food, shelter and clothes. So these are the basic things. In order to understand the life that he is leading and the purpose that and the meaning of that life he needs religion, it clearly shows the importance and the necessity of religion in the life of man. So on next Friday I will discuss the next chapter. Thank you.